Welcome to Letter Shine Show. Uh, today is with us Mary E. Cohen. Welcome to Letter Shine, Mary. Thank you. Uh, nice to have you in Letter Shine Show. Very okay, nice being here. Tell us, who is Mary E. Cohen? Well, I was born in Florence, South Carolina, and at the age of 17, I moved to Washington, D.C. with my family. I lived in Washington for about seven years. Then I moved to California, where I worked, and for a while, then I got married and raised five children. And I was married to the same spouse for 43 years. And we have nine wonderful grandchildren, and I forgot we have 11 grandchildren, but my son just got married and his wife have two children. So I can imagine then Christmas mm -hmm. is very expensive for you. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but now that they are growing up, it's not quite as expensive. I just give them a gift card. <laughs> oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mainly wrote most of my life. Like when I was a young kid, I had a really vivid imagination and I wrote about things that was happening in the family, at school, and on anywhere I was, I just wrote about everything. What inspired um, you to write the book? Um, I mainly write about people and things that's happening in everyday life and... Like what things? Like my, for instance, my granddaughter and just moved away to Washington, D.C. She and her mom was really close ever since they were young. When she born, she took her everywhere with her. And when she graduated high school and she was moving away 3,000 miles to Washington, D.C. to college. And I was inspired, that inspired me to write the poem. The first poem in my book um, is entitled, um, Mom, You Mean the World to Me. What is your main me message? In the in main the messages in some of the, in the books, um, I, some of the poems are love poems, and some of them deals with um, child abuse, child abuse, child abuse, and um, substance abuse, and some deal with death. Um, when my children was really young, they had a little friend that died, and that inspired me to write a story about the death of a child. And I have Christmas and inspirational stories, and the poems and the book of poems and the stories they both deal with mainly the same, um, uh, just everyday living and. And what is the, the main message in your book? Is something inspirational? Is hope? It's, um, have a lot of hope and, and sometimes like, people see that something happened to them and they think like, oh wow, this is the end of the world. And in a lot of my poems and stories, I'll try to let them see you're not the only one going through this. A lot of people's going through the same thing you're going through. And then that gives them hope mm -hmm. to go on. Mm -hmm. uh, like that. And, and it's pretty much the, and I have some humor stories. I write humor stories. Um, I have a nine-year-old grandson. He says a lot of funny things, and then I write about things he say. Like he told me, he said, how old are you, Grandma? And so I told him how old I was. He said, oh, my goodness. You're really old. He said, <laughs> told you that one? Yeah, he said, how do you live? How come you're so old? How did you get to be so old? I said, well, I just kept getting up in the morning. He looked at me, he scratched his head, he said, Grandma, maybe you shouldn't have gotten up all those mornings. You should have slept some of those mornings. So <laughs> then I wrote a poem about him. So you use humor a lot yes, in your book? I have or? a lot of humor and a lot of sense and a lot of inspirational. And then, like I said, other most serious story on uh, most serious subjects like uh, child abuse, substance abuse. Do you use death. humor when you are telling the story or write about it? You doing like humor, like a kind of comedy, or more like a drama? More like a drama, mm -hmm. and it's more like drama, but it keeps a little humor in it, so it don't get too serious. Okay. And but it's more a drama, and some of them are just a little, a couple of them are humorous, uh, where it get you to laughing. <laughs> but most of it's drama with a little humor. Who make it the design? Because I see very nice illustration in all your books. My granddaughter. Um, oh, your granddaughter? Yeah, my granddaughter, Amanda Callison. She's mm -hmm. now a 12th grade senior. And she also played tennis for her high school. She's been on tennis and played tennis 
since ninth grade, and she's been in varsity for two years. And she loved drawing. She was drawing since she was like two years old. Oh, you just give her pencil and paper and crayon, and she would just create all day long. She just draw. She didn't draw on the wall. She just draw. Yeah. And as she got older, she just got better and better. And she mainly self-taught herself to draw. What is this book about you, Mary? The, the Prince of Bedlam. Uh -huh. That's about a young prince. He's becoming of age, 21 years old, and when he gets is on his 21st birthday, he has to marry a princess that his parent, the king and queen of Bethlehem, chose for him. But he'd already fallen in love with the common little maiden, and this was against all rules of Bethlehem. He could not marry a common maiden. He had to marry the prince that his parent chose for him. Then there was the wicked witch. She mm -hmm. would do anything in her power to make him force and this the prince is a, to marry a comedy? him. No, it's uh, it's some some in it's really comp some humors in it, mm -hmm. and but it's um, some humors in it because they have a clown in it and they have the fairies in it, and then it gets real serious between the prince and his father because his father wants him when he stood up to his father and told him he's going to marry the maiden and that caused a lot of friction between him and his father and the young girl left, um, Bedlin. So he vowed he would find her and marry her. And uh, that is a really nice little story. And this book is mostly for age group 9 to 13 years old. Mm -hmm. So I rewrote the story recently for younger groups of children. Okay. The same story? With um, the same, it's the exact same line of story, but it has, uh, it's in the form of a storybook. So and it's it has the same book, but for different. This is for children, and this is more for teenagers. The first one, the the first one on your to your mm -hmm. left, is more for teenagers. It's like a stage play, and it has about a hundred oh, pages book. in it. And, and where did the people can find your books? In the, any book book store, or they need to go online and get it online. You can go online and find it on Amazon.com, Lulu.com, but it okay. also can be found in places like uh, Barnes & Noble. What is the, your more dramatic book, the more deep? The more book. deep and dramatic book is the story I wrote, um, Mom, Your Boyfriend Molested Me. Mom, Your Boyfriend Molested Me. That was the most wow. deep and dramatic story Heavy. in there. This about this. Uh, a little young girl, mm -hmm. uh, nine years old, she was molested by her mother's boyfriend and her mother told her, when something happened to you, no matter how bad it is, come to me, let me know and I'll always be there for you. But this time her mother didn't believe her. Oh. And so she went through a lot of serious problems because the mom didn't believe her and then she had to go through a child custody case with her mom and her, her dad. and. Um, but it was very hard on her because she lived like most all of her life and her mother never, even when her mother believed her and found out she was telling the truth, her mother sort of turned her back on her for her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And so that was the most like dramatic story that I've written. And the more funny or comic? The most um, comic is one about why my grandson used to go to daycare and he just telling us story why he didn't want to go to daycare so I wrote about that. Uh, and you have the book here? Yeah, it's in this one. Oh, also in this it, one? It's actually, this is a book of different short stories. Oh, okay. I was uh, told that was only one. So Yeah. It, no, he's, uh, this is a book of uh, several short stories. How many stories you have in this book? This one has about eight, eight or nine you know stories. Story. Uh -huh. And then the one um, about his, when he was in um, preschool and he never mm -hmm. wanted to go back to preschool, he was not going to go back to preschool. Why? Because he was five in the second grade following him all over the place, pull his hair, he had curly hair, and no matter where he go, the second grade was right there bothering him and harassing him and his teacher didn't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. okay. So I went to the preschool to talk to the teacher about the second grader. And when I went to pick him up, the little second grader was leaning over him, playing in his curls, a beautiful little girl. And he couldn't tie his shoes, so when I picked him up and 
as he saw me, he ran to me. He said, Grandma, you're so relieved to see me. And she ran to me. He said, tie my shoe. And she says, Grandma, can you tie my shoe? And she ran to him and tied his shoe. And then she looked up at me and said, Hi, Ryan's grandma. I'm Ryan's best friend. 